I would like to read to you from my book called The Lost Rainforest, Mez's Magic. I'm going to read to you right from the beginning, so you don't need to know too much, except that Mez is a young panther who is soon to discover she has magical powers, which she'll need to defend the rainforest. Chapter 1. What's wrong with me? Mez curls and uncurls her paws, worry springing her eyes back open each time she tries to scrunch them shut. All the other panthers in the den are asleep, as any normal men are asleep. Usha would be safe if she slept outside. Mez couldn't imagine any animal alive foolish enough to attack her. Usha's long, muscular body, covered in lustrous brown-black fur, is curled protectively around her nurslings. She snores softly, the vibrations spreading calmness over the sleeping cubs. She nudges aside brambles, to create a triangle of blue within the roof so she can see the sunlit sky. Mez shivers. Day is a time of legendary creatures. Even the butterflies keep their azure wings shut while the moon is in power. Mez gets lost in contemplating the color and has no idea how much time has gone by when the blue triangle suddenly flashes green and tan. Mez recognizes the scales of an emerald tree boa, but boas are night walkers like panthers, so no boa should be awake during the day. It's another animal up during the wrong time, like her. Mez darts to her paws, whiskers perking. Chumba sighs and shifts in her sleep. Even though Mez knows her sister, like any proper panther, can't wake up during the daytime, she crouches, motionless, until Chumba settles back down. Sure enough, she rolls from Mez and burrows her whiskers and ears under her foreleg, soon snoring away. By the time Mez looks back up, the exposed triangle of day world is blue again. The mysterious snake is gone. Mez's stalking posture relaxes, and she lies back down, thrashing her tail and flicking her ears in irritation at the flood of adrenaline with nowhere to go. Heart still racing, she lowers her head to her front paws and goes back to counting ants. Why are there always so many of them? Her cousin Mist claims there were no ants at all in Caldera until the night Mez and Chumba's mother died, when the sisters came to live in Usha's den. Mez doesn't believe that, because how would the ant queen's constellation have gotten into the sky if there hadn't been any ants before? All the same, it does seem like there are more and more leaf cutters wandering through the den each night. She traps one under her paw to give herself something to do, then feels bad, and lets the ant continue on its way to wherever it is that ants go. She's not even aware that her tail is still flicking until it runs under Chumba's nose, making her sister sneeze and Thank you so much for watching! Be sure to like and subscribe to Gotham Reads for more of your favorite children's books read aloud daily.